What is up, you beautiful nerds? I am Wildfire One, and you are listening and watching Nerd is New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. Uh, with me today is... J-Mac. Hi. This is episode 150. It's a Big Boss episode, season 8. Uh, and with this Big Boss episode, we got to talk about a bigger topic, and the topic is going to be... Netflix is a uh, live action adaptation of Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop. And, and uh, like that what an episode it's going to be. Oh. Well, let me let me first say this like and I think you agreed with me when we talked about this. It was enjoyable. It like uh, as mm-hmm. as opposed to a lot of other people we know who like more or less hated yeah. it. Like I, I, it was for me, it was I didn't hate it, but it's not something like I'm gonna go back and rewatch and recommend to people. Like yeah, I mean it was it was enjoyable for what it was. Yeah, um, a friend of mine put it perfectly. It's enjoyable as long as you don't think about it too long. Yes, yes, and there's a lot of things in in anime they don't translate well to live action, and in this case, I'll just say it, Ed. But we'll get to that. And there are also some issues with... So, the problem with the problem I typically have with Netflix live-action ad- adaptations of anime is they... So, there's a very big difference between Eastern storytelling and Western storytelling. Yes, big time. And Netflix tends to westernize it, and it loses a lot of what it had in the original. Yeah. Like, and the, one of the problems in this particular case was, so... Um, I'll even say that they this was something they did all right with... Um, Death Note, even though the live a- Netflix live action Death Note was hot garbage. Yes, yes. At least it was, they weren't trying to copy it note for note. There's mm-hmm. one thing in Death Note that was, like, acceptable, and that was William Defoe. Yeah. That was it. But, like, yeah, they were at least not trying to copy the original Death Note wo- note for note, but it ended up with a worse product. And here, it felt like sometimes they were trying too hard to be exactly the anime, which makes it all the easier to make those comparisons back to, oh, they didn't do this, they didn't do that, and we'll get into those. Yeah, and they, well, then there's things they changed and that they shouldn't have changed, and some things that were what I like to call Hollywood bullshit, and that's, of course, a little too close to politics that I like to get to, but we will get into that a mm-hmm. little bit, uh, because there's there's some politics in this. Oh, and, God, yeah. And, and also how, how the actress for Faye just... Ugh. See, that's the there thing. There was a lot that was I done. thought she did a good... And, and without getting into the, the other you stuff know. that we're going to get into, I thought she did an okay job as far as, like, that goes, but... Uh, yeah, no, the way she acted outside of the show... That is, is exactly what... That's why I was yeah. like, if, I'm not getting into that just yet, but we'll get into yeah. that eventually. We will get into it for sure. And that goes into <laughs> theories as to why the show only lasted one season. Yep. Okay, so it starts off, like... To, without getting too far into it already, I think I think the show felt rushed, um, and there's some things they took their time on that that they it it was rushed, but it was also slowed down. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, there were definitely. I was rewatching they, the anime, and I mm-hmm. think the third, fourth episode in, they did the fight with uh, Vicious in the um, in the church, and it took yeah. it took how long for that to happen in the in the live action adaptation? It was like what oh, gosh, seven? So long. And, it would, and they even changed that, and we'll get to that. Yeah, no, they they drew oh. out the Vicious and Julia stuff so much, like way more than too needed. much. Like, <laughs> yeah, and honestly, it ended up hurting Vicious as a character. Yes, he went from this absolutely terrifying villain to kind of a bitch, big time, who, who was whining that he wasn't getting what he wanted. It's just like, yeah, yeah. that that's life, oh, Vicious. You're so mean to me, Syndicate. Why are you so mean to me? <laughs> yes, Fuck that yeah. guy. Like, Vicious was... You love, you love to hate him at first, and then you just hated to hate him because he was just bad. His character got pussified, yeah. as you put it. I, I feel like... And I hate to say this. I feel like they were setting up for a season two with Julia as the villain. They, I, well, it was obvious. And, uh, yeah. and Julia became just a thunder cunt. <laughs> she became so inconsistent of a character. Well, she was, you know, like, and I don't remember because I'm I'm rewatching Cowboy Bebop the animation the anime, and I for I'm trying to remember if she turns out to be as bad as she did in the live action. I can't remember for the life of me, because she turned into like the biggest of bitches just really quick, like in that one episode alone. She went from being mm-hmm. like, "Ha, oh, I'm the victim," to like, "No, motherfucker, hey, vicious bitch slap," and it mm-hmm. was just it was. 
uh, for me, it was too much too soon. Oh, absolutely. This is where where it gets a little like you feel like girl power, and that, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing yeah, wrong no. with that. Before I start I getting had... attacked, there's nothing wrong with that. But it was like yeah. laid on thick and very quickly. It was, and, and the reason behind it was the where the bullshit happened. It's like, oh well, the the, first, the Netflix anime was written by men from it's like, and people who said that are just like, have you? What idiots? <laughs> have you seen the Have you seen the anime? Ke- yeah, Keiko Nobumoto, one of the most badass women in like the anime scene. Um, also, rest her rest in peace. Yeah, she just passed away. Did she not? Yeah, but like, yeah, she wrote a lot of the characters in Cowboy Bebop, mm-hmm. and it's just like that, like them being like, "Oh, well, Faye was just sexualized for men." Like, no, no, she wasn't. No, you're looking at what she looked, what she was wearing, but you obviously didn't like, see the, the character. Per- the person who and the person who designed <sighs> Faye was a woman. Faye and Julia both. Mm-hmm. It's just like, okay, guys. It was the original had a great story, mm-hmm. you know, and and I know that they changed a few people uh, to be more uh, mm-hmm. Hollywood. There's there's a few things that was said that like, have you seen Cowboy Bebop? Like, yeah, have you seen that Cowboy Bebop has hom- has homosexuality? It has transgender. It has just about yeah. everything you can think of, and you got. Actors saying certain things that we'll get into later on. Yeah. But, oh my gosh. And I, I, I will also go on a rant about Gren later because oh my fucking god. It gets uh, so bad. But okay, so let's get back to the pacing of the live mm-hmm. action Cowboy Bebop. It was the first episode. They literally just copied the first episode yeah. of the anime. No, yeah, they no. did. And now, honestly, I think they did a good job with that. Yeah. But then the pacing was inconsistent. Like, it was slow, but it was clear that they wanted to be fast. Or in some places, it was fast, but it was clear they wanted it to mm-hmm. be slow. It's just like, okay, <clears throat> pick one and then Go pick with what it. you want to be pacing and then pace it that way. Yeah. You know, um, the, I noticed the one episode they missed is probably my favorite episode. And that was one I just watched the other day. It's the one mm-hmm. where the, uh, the fridge monster... <laughs> like the, that that yes. that lobster that rock lobster he had that got like was in yeah. the, year, the fridge for a year and it was like it was like yeah. a, it was like an episode of alien and it was beautiful yeah yeah and, and um, i was like why didn't they have that in the live action adaptation because mm-hmm. it was now, a good as episode as, as far as characters go spike is pretty decent they Faye is okay. Faye was exhausting. Faye was exhausting. Faye is okay. Like, I will they say They changed that her way. from, like, a very clever femme fatale to... She's not oh, one-liners. Insert the welcome to the ouch motherfuckers Yes. Line. Just, that was... Oh, I cringed. Oh, I hated it. There was... There, the she best still had character. one-liners. Yeah. She still had one-liners, yeah. but it was still, like... The best character in the entire live action. Was Jet? Jet was fucking amazing. Nailed it! Like you could tell, he was definitely acting to be Jet. Mm-hmm. The other guys, I feel like, were just acting because it was a gig on their. I think uh, portfolio. Spike did okay. I don't think yeah. it was like bad. Faye was probably the worst of the three. Felt like she was just there for the page. Yeah, I could see that. Like you know, I, I, um, I was in Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> that lot of good that'll do you now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome the ouch. Without getting too far into the series, I'm gonna tell you guys, watch the series. Like before you judge it yourself, yes. watch it. Um I I was hesitant to watch it at first, I'll I'll say that much. And there were times for me where I'm just like, oh god, I don't I just I have to get through this next episode. Yeah. There I'm were, glad I did. There were some I, moments. Because now I can actually have my own opinions about it and not just like be parroting what everyone on Twitter is saying about yeah. it. Yeah, and there's and there's some things. Some mm-hmm. episodes were better than others, obviously. Some of those mm-hmm. episodes, like the episode with Faye, were uh, it brought back like her childhood. I still got teary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like the the with you know you see little Faye on the on the the tape and mm-hmm. and I still got a little teary eyed on. The pacing was pretty fucking weird. All mm-hmm. in all, especially after the first and episode. Them ex- yeah, we've we touched on the Vicious and Julia thing. They try they tried, I'll give them that, they tried to give Vicious and Julia a little more of a backstory. <sighs> I don't They tried. Like it was a very I'll bad reserve my judge Yeah. It 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 didn't work. It and was it, bad. 
<laughs> so bad. Like, let's oh, just, let's not it's... fuck around here. It was bad. It was horrible. <laughs> It was like you're at one point you're invested and then they then so one thing happens and you're just like ah oh, fuck it I'm done no this yeah, is and this like, is bad it, it, and vicious just turns out to be like he, a he bitch like, yeah he was just whining all the time and his backstory was like oh I want control of you I control you don't don't forget I control you because I said so and like, he starts fuck hitting fuck. Julia. He starts yeah. hitting her, and like it, it just kind of makes her out to be this like weak character at first. And then, I mean, in the, and I hate to say it, in the back of my head, I'm like, oh, she's going to turn on him. Yeah. Like, it was supposed to be a surprise? No! In the live action, she, like, blamed Spike for betraying her or something like that. I forget. I think it was weird. Well, you know what? It's I think you're thinking about the episode where they where they were doing that AI thing. Why? Like, why Why is this? Yeah, What? what is the purpose of it, you know? It, it turns oh, wait, wait, wait. I mean, there were okay. My main problem, well, not my main problem, but like one of the biggest problems with this uh, show was that it was clearly written as though they were guaranteed a season two. Yes. Oh God, yes. Um, you should, and here, here's one of the things that I will say: like, you should never, like, coming from a writer's perspective, you should never, like, unless you are like writing a book and you intend to write a series. You should never write something as if it's going to get a sequel. If you're in charge of it 100% and you know there's a sequel because you're making it and you're the one mm-hmm. backing it, yes. But, yeah, mm-hmm. I agree with you. Uh, if but you, if, if it's someone else providing the funding, which with Netflix, Netflix providing this studio with the funding, <laughs> then you should never expect a second season. Well, let's be honest. Netflix is also mm-hmm. infamous for just canceling shit. Yeah. And and uh, they're so inconsistent about that too, because they'll they'll sometimes just cancel shit randomly, or they'll make things go on for three seasons too long. No, yeah, yeah, <coughs> Thirteen yeah. reasons why. <coughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> well, I'll give you a good example of one show they shouldn't have canceled, and that is of course Dark Crystal. Oh God, yeah. One season in, they're like, ah, you know what? Eh, no one wants to care. No one cares about you, Manson. Fuck you, Netflix. Yeah. Fuck you with a rusty poker. Bring that shit back. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. But yes. Yeah. But they're they're very bad about that, and it, it yeah. fuck them for that. Uh, this uh, did did Cowboy Bebop deserve the live action deserve to be canceled? <laughs> yeah. No. In my opinion. Well, yeah. Yeah. But now, in my opinion, though, is there really an excuse for canceling it? No. 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 And I'll say. And here here's my explanation. Right. There were definitely people out there who adored the live action Cowboy Bebop. I and thought it was I, good. Well, it was okay to me. It wasn't bad. Is it the anime? It okay. No, it's not the yeah. anime. But it... um, you never, you should never cancel something in the first season if you intend for it to be a series. Especially if it's got like, potential. Yeah, like clearly they could iron out any kinks that they wanted to in the second season. But also, you're not like a TV station. Like So, the way TV stations work is like, you know, you had a time slot. There was finite time. Like, in that half-hour time slot, if people weren't watching your channel at that time, you weren't getting ad revenue. So, mm-hmm. the only solution was either to make the show better, move the show to another time slot, or, or cancel, cancel that show. show altogether. But with Netflix, people are just paying them for access to this endless library of content. So, you're going to have people who are going to watch uh, Cowboy Bebop. Sure, the viewership fell off after the first week, but that's what happens when you release a show all at once, Netflix. <laughs> it's not going to get constant viewership like Arcane did. Also, like the other problem with its release is it released around the same time, not necessarily right around the same time, but like Arcane. Arca- motherfucking Arcane. From the League of Legends show is just fucking stupid rolling everything else on um, Netflix except for Squid Game. Yeah, I know they're whoring at they're whoring Arcane out a lot too because it's doing so well, right? It is doing fucking numbers. And by I gotta the way, watch it. If, I if you're it. looking for a good show, Arcane. It is so fucking good. It is amazing. You know, that's the thing. Like, <clears throat> we'll get back to the topic of Netflix mm-hmm. by itself for a second. Netflix is very hit and miss. Mm-hmm. Like, there's certain things they can do that just blows shit out of the water. Like, like Stranger you know, Things, Castlevania, Stranger Things, you know mm-hmm. stuff like that. Uh, the Witcher, a, yeah, a lot of their and a lot of their anime, like because and a lot of the anime though is because it's produced by a third party mm-hmm. and they just fund it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
the animation and yeah stuff like that but mm -hmm. there's and then there's some things that they just fucking fall off with like good examples uh death note <coughs> would be bob you know mm -hmm. uh, a lot of their their live act adaptations uh anime is pretty much cringy with the exception of one mm -hmm. and that would be a uh, full metal alchemist which i really like yeah. that but yeah so yeah, like with my opinion of the Cowboy Bebop, it's kind of like it, my opinion of the first Suicide Squad movie. I enjoyed it. Doesn't make it great, but I enjoyed it. If I were to if I were to rate it, I'd say it's Cowboy Bebop light. Yeah. Like, you know, you want you Diet want, Diet Bebop. Diet Bebop. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's exact it's it's Cowboy um, Bebop without all the without the filler and good stuff that you love. But it's like it's yeah, it, it, it feels it, like Spike. It, it, it doesn't feel like Faye, but it does definitely feel like fucking uh Jet. Jet. Like, yeah, I know. Jets. And then there's Ed. <sighs> poor, that so, poor actor. I was warned about Ed from fandom and several other people before mm -hmm. Ed appeared. In fact, the last episode, it was a meme <laughs> all over the internet. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I I get that they're trying, like I said, this, this is exactly what I meant by some things don't translate well to live action. Mm -hmm. I have met in real life a person, I was... I had a lady that I was doing stuff with. Mm. Anyway, uh, she had a daughter that I shit you not looked, sounded, acted like Ed. Was it unbearable? It was beautiful. Oh, like the most random shit said. No, unbearable was the fucking the fucking Netflix series. Like yeah. that that was ADHD Ed on crack. That was just bad, and yeah, Ed is. Uh, I, I'm kind of glad we're not getting a season two because Ed would just be. Yeah, I and also I would feel so. So this, like a little known fact, this was that actor's first ever acting slot ever. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, like that the actor that played Ed. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, like. And they probably yeah. told you to act that way, you poor thing. You poor, exactly. poor thing. Like, oh. Hey, oh, act, act annoying and stupid and insane. Yo, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, yeah. Whoa, that person's never getting work again. Yeah, that that was the beginning and end of their career. Oh. Um, like, although I think I feel like it would have been so much worse for them if they had been forced to go through with a second season. Yeah, I think so. Um, too. Because I feel like. The producers, the, the the people who produced the live action would have been like, well, you you told us you wanted something accurate. Ed is accurate, so why are you bitching? It's like, we want something accurate that also works well as a live action. Well, they're working. We don't want a one for one, note for note recreation of things that don't work in real life. Yeah, there's certain things that don't translate. It's why I'm terrified for the One Piece live action. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll definitely do a review on that when that happens. Yeah. Like. Because there are so many things that only work in the only work in anime that happen in One Piece. I don't want to see a live stretchy guy. I don't. Oh, that'd be horrifying. Like, it didn't work Although, in the Fantastic Four. Speaking, you know, speaking of other live action things that I'm looking forward to, Yu Yu Hakusho is one that I think because it's being done by a Japanese studio. Number one, and Yu Yu Hakusho is more. There aren't very many like weird things that go on in it. That you can't do without good special effects. There's a lot of a lot of ghostly stuff and cool stuff like that. Yeah, and, and, and Yu Yu has a close place in my heart too. The I only love weirdly it. shaped people in that I feel like are the Toguro brothers. Like, I guess once you get to the demon arc at the end, but that's yeah, that's really when things get a little wonky. And, but the and Toguro fun. brothers, like they, because the, the elder Toguro brothers are like all stretchy and gross, and the younger Toguro is huge. <clears throat> They can get away with that. that. They yeah. can get away with that, and I'm, I'm yeah. excited for that one because I yeah. I love Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, yeah, no. So I wanted to talk about Gren. <laughs> oh no! I just so watched in the, the anime, episode with yeah. yeah. Go, ahead, go ahead. In the in the anime, Gren was a prisoner. He was in prison, and they experimented on him in prison, and that's why he had titties. Yeah. Well. Well, Gren. Yeah, Gren was a war uh, wartime veteran. I just watched mm -hmm. that episode. A uh, yeah. wartime veteran, and he was he fought in a war or a battle with uh, vicious. vicious. There we go. Yeah. Words. He fought in a battle with vicious, and like vicious turned him in for being unstable or some shit. Mm -hmm. And they they like you said they experimented on him, and and and, and that experiment 
the drugs had like side effects and titties was one of them. And guess mm-hmm. what? Now we have a guy with titties and yeah. And also what's funny is so a lot of people were like, a lot of people were like, look at this. We made, we made a trans person in the show with Gren. It's just like, bitch. Mm-hmm. So I have a lot of transgender friends. A lot of, a lot of them actually identified more with the Gren from the anime Yes, because they're like, that is exactly what we felt like when we were, when we felt like we were in the wrong body. Cause he hated the fact that he had boobs. He hated all these things about his body, like this body that he had now because of this experimentation in the show. It and- made him a very stereotypical flirts with everyone because all gay people are sluts, right? Uh, kind of guy. Very person. cringy. And mm-hmm. and st- you said it best, stereotypical. Uh, what what you would expect a gay character in a movie in the '90s to be like? Yes, he was very flaming. Can I say yes. that? Yes, is that, is that allowable? Like, I mean, I am the resident gay person, so yes, so, it is allowable. It was kind of insulting too, because like a lot of people are like, "Oh, it's the first non-binary character." It's like, okay, that you shouldn't be proud of that one. Does he play? I forget. Does he play the saxophone at all in the live action? I don't think so. I never. I never. That's saw a him. fucking shame. Because it was badass in the anime. It's also clear that they didn't. A lot of those people that were writing it didn't really watch Cowboy Bebop. Okay, so the script coordinator on Twitter who claimed to be a writer and got a bunch of flack about it because, like, you know, if you claim to be a writer and you're bragging about all these things that you supposedly put in as a writer, you're going to get shit about it. Oh, yeah, especially if people don't like it. Like, Grin Grin could have been... There was potential there. And Mm -hmm. they just... They went with, let's make it... Let's make Grin stereotypical. I feel like that's just a... The definition of the rest of the show. There was potential. There what did really is. There there was potential there, and it unfortunately mm-hmm. the potential was squandered. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and it was canceled three was, weeks after it aired. <laughs> that you know that's fucking sad. That's um, like okay and okay. Here's another sad thing though. The pe- the people who worked on the show found out with the rest of us that it had been canceled. They only found out when the news reported on it. Could you imagine? Could you imagine like being the guy who oh, played that, Jet or the guy who played uh, any I anyone it, actually? The, uh, the Ed, mm-hmm. poor Ed, Ed's actor, mm-hmm. first time, and then hearing that like, oh, by the way, you know, you you were gonna get a second seat. No, nope, sorry, mm-hmm. no second seat yeah. for you guys. Yeah, and finding out not even through the company or from Netflix or anything, but through the news. That's. That's a slap in the face. I would never want to work for uh, Netflix again or whoever. Yeah. Was it, you know, like, if it wasn't just Netflix, it was whoever in charge of the show. And the- yeah. Okay. The music, though, by the way. Oh, don't the get me. Oh, God, the music. The Yoko Kano, her back must be hurting because she carried that shit. <laughs> the the music, and yeah, it, it, if anything, that's another thing that made me go, oh, God, this does make me feel like it's Cowboy Bebop. Hearing the real folk blues at the end of every other episode mm-hmm. fucking just blew my mind. I, I, that so, was one of my favorite fucking songs from that series. You know what? But, yeah, no, Yoko Kano, the mute, like, Yoko Kano and whoever played Spike, I forget what his name is, Mustafa Shakir, I think. Yeah, Mustafa Shakir. They carried the show on their fucking backs. I'm also, I was also disappointed that Spike, Spike died in the original Cowboy Bebop, right? Yeah, yeah, he died like a, like, you know, the last episode, so like, course, a, yeah. like a fucking boss. Yeah, because it was it was a little something after that, and then like basically like Spike got his ass kicked at, 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 towards the last episode. I can't remember exactly how it happened, but that's when mm-hmm. he wakes up and he sees Ed and. Uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, Spike. Oh god, Spike Spiegel. <sighs> <laughs> I think I've just broken you. Looking it's looking like something my... straight out of Spy Kids. That's a... <laughs> 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 I never <laughs> <thought of> <laughs> You're not joking! That's true! <laughs> it's like a nightmare out of Spy Kids. Because they even had the hair all fucking animated, like anime style, and I didn't really care for that. Like all, They could have just spiked it a little bit, but it was like on both sides, and it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Netflix, you fucked that up. Okay, well, I feel we, we, so we, bad for this person. Ah, we've we've gone through this stuff. Let's talk about why we think it got canceled. Yes, three weeks in. Um, I have a couple theories. So the, my first theory is that it didn't perform as well as Netflix expected it to. Like nowhere near as that. My 
other um, theory is that they got word earlier than ev- the pu- general public did that um, Keiko Nobumoto passed away. Yeah. The, also, another reason, I think, is just the way that it w- people were treating it. Like, the actors and the cast and crew... Like, okay, most of the actors kept out of it. One of the actors in particular went full Brie Larson about it. One fucking person in particular. Righting the wrongs of anime. Or that, okay, or that video that uh, the actress for Julie, not Julie, uh, for Faye put out. Oh, God. I say I didn't see that. I'm glad I didn't. Uh, Give us uh, all a, an idea of what happened. She was she was bitching about so she kind of rubbed it in like people's faces. Oh, the costume for Faye isn't what you wanted. <laughs> I just wanted Faye to be the badass yeah. she was supposed to be. Yeah, and she was like, "Well, I'm so sorry. I'm not six feet tall with big tits. You're gonna have to cry about." It. It's like, bitch. No one cared if you were six foot tall with big tits. People care if you're Faye Valentine. <laughs> yes. Be Faye Valentine! Don't be... It doesn't... I don't care if you got... It, Faye didn't even have super huge tits. Like... Yeah. She, be it's Faye Valentine! She, yeah, like, her video made it very clear that she had never seen the anime. And that's sad. Uh, like, and she did the exact... So, when people are expecting something to be bad, the general course of action is to reassure them and say, I promise you, it's going to be good. Yes. She did the exact opposite and be, was just like, ha, 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 cry about it more, you little losers. It's just like, well, fuck off. One, and th- this is where it comes into why I think it that the show got fucking canceled, mm-hmm. is because once you lose the fan base of a show, no one's watching it. And if you're making a show that no one's watching, why fucking make it? Yes. And that's why I think, in a lot, um, I think that she just, she had a big mouth. She pissed off a lot of us nerds on something mm-hmm. that we love. Go ahead. Nerds are used to getting bullied and shit for the things they like. So then when we see popular people trying to take the things we like and then bully us even further, we don't we're 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 tired of putting up with that shit. So we will just be like, "Fine, you can have it. We'll go somewhere else." You don't well, or we can just go, "We're not going to watch it." Guess what? You don't have yeah. a job no more. You know, you 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 squandered that. And yeah, like what she did was essentially like the jock coming in and be like, ha ha ha, I play D and D now, you nerds. Exactly. You, can... you know, but and what I was getting to is you don't you don't make a uh, live action adaptation of an anime and then go, ha ha, you guys are stupid for liking anime. Like, where's yeah. the where's where's the common sense in that? And it, in a way, it's kind of it's both good and bad it's bittersweet mm-hmm. because i would love to have seen this the i would have loved to have seen the uh, the death of of yeah uh, you know the, the last episode i would have loved to have seen that that's yeah, one of the i would I have liked to. to see i already know judging by a lot of the things that were done like there were articles put out that were like net oh netflix cowboy bebop isn't supposed to be good it's just like that's just like coping on another level holy shit <laughs> yeah no like the media circled the wagons so hard around it like being like fans and cast were devastated I'm like what fans were devastated that this got cancelled I want to meet them and I would have wanted to see them at least complete the story yeah I would like to see Spike have his moment and like die because mm-hmm. and, and, he did go out he did go out like a badass in the series in the, in yeah. the anime um and there was a lot, like, in the last episode or the last part of the, the live action adaptation, like, Spike basically just, like, the whole the whole group just went, they just went on their own merry way. And I don't remember that being a thing. According to my friends who also recently watched it, it was not a thing in the anime. Yeah, like, because, they all just broke off. Um, one thing about the anime it was, like, it was, all, it, a lot of it was about these very different people, right? These very different people who were very... Like, Faye and uh, B and gosh and Spike were not friends initially. No, they hated each other. Yeah, they were enemies, and like all of these people, like of like different walks of life, different jobs, different like passions, different things, who like didn't mesh well together. 
in the show in, eventually came together and became kind of like a family yes. at the end. And, well, they and kind of mimicked that in the live action, yeah. but then they fucked it up right away. Yeah. Well, yeah, and they're, they're just like, well, no, the, uh, in the live action, it felt a lot like they all came together right after episode one, and it's just like, okay. Well, no, cool. well, he, yeah, see, I'll, I'll disagree. A, I'll disagree. By it like, took a few episodes. The, the guess, episode but. that they, I want to say they kind of got together on, the one where it felt like your family was the Mad Puro episode. Mm. Where, uh, yeah. You know, and by the way, like, I think they did okay with, with I mean, the story was off or whatever, but they did mm-hmm. okay with the actual character who played him with a big goofy grin and, and the, the mm-hmm. weird way of, the, the five, seven-year-old way of thinking, though they didn't explain yeah. it that way. Um, and there was there was some decent episodes of the live action, and mm-hmm. there were some really cringy ones. Um, but when, but when, welcome to the ouch, motherfuckers. <laughs> Let's talk about Ayn. Yes, when the best did, part of the. Well, the when show. did Ayn start doing robot shit? I know it's supposed to be a data dog, but like, what the, the Mad Puro episode? Like, he was like hacking the dog. Did you notice that? Yeah. What the fuck was wrong? What is what is up with that shit? That was like a drug trip. Like someone fucking took drugs and wrote that script. I I, I kind of cringed. As much as I liked that episode, I liked the ep- the anime anime version better. Obviously, uh, you know uh, there was a lot. I think where they went wrong is when, as far as like we were talking about the politics and stuff, is when a particular person that the the actress for Faye went out and opened her mouth and pulled. a and pulled and pulled a uh, I know everything. I'm going to just regurgitate bullshit and pissed off the fans. Yeah, and when a lot of critics who like had never, who it's clear have never seen the original, just pe- started parroting. Oh yeah, no, this is this is respecting the um, anime with while well, um, fixing some or making some necessary uh, fixes to the. It's like no. What necessary fixes? There was nothing wrong. Also, with the there was there's a clip in an interview of one of the producers saying, uh, "Yeah, we tried to not make a dystopian world for a live action Cowboy Bebop." So the original w- took place in a very dystopian world. So for you to be like the live action's a love letter to uh, Cowboy Bebop. It's Cowboy Bebop. Let's not fuck this up. And then to go on an interview and have the balls, like the big melon sized brass balls, to say. Yeah, we we decided we we decided to not make our sh- sh- series dystopian at all. Nothing like, like that. No. It's like what the fuck? We we wanted to make Cowboy Bebop without the Bebop. <laughs> <laughs> it's just cowboy <laughs> in space. Yeah. yeah. You know, I will say this though, because um, we've been God help us saying... if we ever get a space dandy live action. Oh God. Well, I ca- would love to see it. Actually, that one would be pretty good. I would love to see it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of the things that I can say positively, other than the mm-hmm. music and some of the other stuff in the show, God, Yoko Kano. The the CG. Yeah, the, the, yeah, no, the CG was pretty great. There were some places where I wished they'd used. So this was this one was a pretty funny one. So on on Twitter, the Netflix or the Cowboy Bebop Netflix account uh, put out this image like the original and like ours. I've seen that. Okay. And it was like, you know, this ship going down, over, like, blue sky. Brown. Into the water. Yeah, the blue water. And then, like, the Netflix one was just, like, poop brown sky, brown ship, shit water. <laughs> Everything's brown. <laughs> and it just led him, like, wow. That's, like. That's a lot of diarrhea. That's, like, putting, a like, the pre-rework uh, Sonic the Hedgehog next to the original graphics of Sonic the Hedgehog be like, mm-hmm. look what, what we've made. Aren't you excited? <laughs> I remember a lot of people <laughs> so talking bad. shit about that particular tweet. Yeah. Like, what a way to promote your show, man. It's like, but it was, you know, like, like not the, putting the it side CG by side. Great. The CG was yeah. pretty good. Yeah, the CG was great. Um, special effects were great. Um, music, I mean, Yoko Phenomenal. Kano, you cannot miss with Yoko Kano. It Phenomenal. is, like, Phenomenal. Like uh, Yoko Kano has done music. Like Yoko Kano is just like the soundtrack to a lot of anime. Could the acting uh, be better? Yes. Yeah. Could uh, um, they chose maybe all, a better actress for certain for for Faye? Fuck yes. Yeah. Um, or could they have at least told her to hey shut your fucking mouth? That is a hundred percent what they should have done the moment she started putting videos out and doing stupid shit. I don't got big tit, bitch. Stop. It's like we don't care. Neither did Faye. Yes. 
Yeah. She's like, I'm not. I'm so sorry that I'm not Faye Valentine. I'm not six foot tall with double D tits. Clearly, she's never seen the show. Like, imagine getting cast as the Joker in it for a movie, for a Batman movie, and be like, oh, I'm so sorry, fans, that I'm not a clown and that I'm not. And that I don't laugh, and that I, that I don't like, and that I don't, I don't look like, like Mark Hamill, Bat- and that I don't mess with Batman at all. <laughs> Just like fuck off. <laughs> uh, you know, like would we mm-hmm. would we suggest you guys to watch? Yes, I would suggest you guys mm-hmm. to watch uh, Cowboy Bebop. Get your own opinion. Yes. Especially if you're a fan of the original, you're and either going to really love it or hate it. Also, and like, if you hate it, there's nothing wrong with watching a good shit show. Yes. Sometimes sometimes watching something like, fall apart in front of you is, yeah. um, is, is pleasurable for some people. Yes. Uh, and it does, at one point, fall and apart has, in front of yeah. you. Yeah, but, like... For all the times that fall apart, I will. I do have to say, it has some good moments. Oh yeah, there's some moments that you you kind of it kind of goes to the heart, and you kind of you kind of feel for these characters, and and, and then immediately in the next scene, it's like, oh, <laughs> that's right, I'm watching the live action. Yeah, I, I, I forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, I mm. should have I should have known. So, like, I don't want to uh, one to ten. What would you rate it? <sighs> Probably a six or a five. Like five and very a half. middling, yeah. Five very and a half. middling. Five and a half, mm-hmm. maybe a six, close to a six. It's yeah. uh it's watchable. Yeah. But it's also like very cringeworthy. Is there anything else you want to say about this this shit show? Uh uh Daniela Pineda, if you it in the very low likelihood that you see this next time, don't be a dick. Like it costs you zero dollars. To not be a dick. To not open your It costs mouth. you zero dollars to be like, hey, I know that some of you guys have complaints about my costume, but like, you know what? It's just the design choice we went with. I promise I'm still going to be the Faye Valentine that you guys all know and love. I'm just not going to look exactly like her. Be I'm an actress. Be, her. be an actress. Yeah. Like, don't be like, oh, I'm so sorry that I'm not living up to your lofty expectations. It's like, no, that's a cunty move. <laughs> it, it is. You're being, you're mm-hmm. being a bitch. I said it. Yeah. You know, like, mm. no one wants to see you do that. Yeah. Be, just be an actress, be Faye Valentine. That's it. That's all you mm. had to do. All right, guys, that was the podcast for the live action shit show that we like to call Cowboy Bebop. Yep. What did you guys think? Let us know down below. Uh, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you love to hate it? Did you hate to love it? It's up to you. Uh, I know this is just our point of view. This is what we mm-hmm. think. I guess, guys, that'll be the end of the podcast. We'll see you on next week on uh, episode 151. Till then, guys, we want you to stay nerdy, stay sexy. Always.